Hi, this is Jeremy at 1LD, and this is a tutorial video on Clean Accordion, and I'm currently running version 1.3.8. First, I'm going to create a blank stacks page, and then I'm going to select the uh, Clean Accordion stacks. It comes with two stacks, actually. The one with the outer orange right here is the container stack, and it'll say Clean Accordion container, please um, place clean accordion inner elements into this container and clean accordion inner place inside clean accordion containers. So first you will lay down a container and then you will drag the inner element and that will give you a single tab in your clean accordion. For this illustration we'll, we'll create three tabs. You can easily retitle these. Uh, we'll call this example one, example two, and example three. And then you can drag additional stacks inside here. For this illustration, we'll just be dragging text inside. And this is the default look, uh, though you have complete con uh, control over the customization of the look and feel. It comes with two built-in themes. By default, you're going to have this look. And one, one thing I'll demo here in a second is the auto-open feature. So by default, they'll be, be closed, and you can click on them to open. And actually, let's make that text brighter, too. That way we can see it. We'll change the change the text color to white because we have a dark background so it can't see it too well here in the back end but when we actually go to our template it comes out white much better for a dark background um, and we'll turn the auto open feature on that way the first tab will always open when the page is first loaded and let's also switch to theme two so I can show you the difference between these. The, one of the bigger differences though is this will no longer have that transparent background. Uh, so we'll want to set the background or the, the text rather to a color a little more fitting for this. So we'll turn it dark because the background's going to be white. You'll see here in a second. There you go. And um, as you could see, the first one auto opened, and now we have the second type of accordi jQuery accordion that uh, is commonly displayed. And these two themes are really the only two uh, accordi jQuery accordions I see uh, commonly used on the internet, which is why I chose them as uh, the two themes. Uh, from there, you have uh, very good customization over everything. You can uh, add padding or by default, there's a large margin, though you can decrease it. You can increase the inner padding. You can increase or decrease the, the border radius. Zero will be a perfect box shape, of course. Um, the width of the borders, both outside and inside. Um, and then colors over everything, including links and hover effects. Uh, also, for theme one, which I'll switch back to, and let's not forget to uh, change our where is it our description color to white because it's going to have a back black background. Um, you can easily change these grading effects. But this is only for theme one. So for this one, I'll let's let's choose a darker color there, and uh, maybe something else that's f uh, fairly dark and. And uh, now the title's not very visible, so let's do the title and make that make that white. And we'll even do the shadow a little darker. There you go. Maybe not the prettiest accordion, but I'm just showing you some of the customization. And we can also change the effects of the gradient, which is all taking advantage of uh, CSS3 techniques. And let's go demo that. Okay, like I said, not the prettiest looking accordion, but it shows you that it's very easy um, to 
customize. Uh, the other thing you can customize too is for each individual tab. Uh, I did. I had some requests to make some um, or make it available for some to not open but rather be a link. So by default it's set to um, not be a link, that it's only going to display whatever you put inside of it. Though you can turn the link on and the sliding effect off and then enter your URL which can be to any web address that you enter. Uh, that would be example http slash slash www whatever you want dot com. So, and that pretty much wraps it up. Again, if you have uh, additional need for help, you can view our, man our, our manuals, our blog, or feel free to contact us. We're here Monday through Friday um, and generally support, uh, return support requests within 24 hours.